everybody. Cindy out of here with my arts and divers. How are we doing? It is time for this month's prompt. And as you guys already know, this month's prompt, prompt is about favorite things. Now, you guys know I've been doing my journal um, via art. Now, I've already went through my favorite things as far as art products. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's get, this is October. Uh, let's get our page and here we are I believe this is the next page yes I'm gonna need this for my book review all right what I am going to do first of all is I'm gonna get rid of these colors I'm not happy with these colors and I'm gonna talk about my favorite moments in art on this page this is gonna be my main video and like I said we're gonna talk about the favorite moments but before I do that let's get some paint down now I went into my Dina Wakely paints and I decided to um, bring out some colors. Ah, crash, don't mind that. Sorry guys, things just fell. <laughs> I think that was my palette, one of them. All right, we'll have to get that later. Um, I got out some of my Dina Wakely paints and these are colors that I don't use a whole lot except for the yellow, I use a lot of the yellow. But this Tangerine Cheddar and Blushing, I don't use a whole lot so we're gonna play with them today all right I've got a couple sponges here and the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down some of this paint so let's get that done now um, like I said it's about favorite things and I'm gonna give you some ideas of my favorite moments in this video now there's the blush this is the tangerine Now, I'm not putting a whole lot on here because I'm not sure if I'm going to like them, to be honest with you. I've never done the blush or the cheddar, I don't believe. Here's some cheddar. That's kind of a funky looking color, isn't it? And, of course, the lemon. I like lemon, so we'll put lemon down here. And let's see what we get. Here we go. Oh, that cheddar is different. So, favorite moments. Um, I have to say, anytime I'm in my art studio is a favorite moment, but that's really not what I'm going to show you today. Um, okay, well, that completely eats that up. There's some of the yellow. All right. I'm liking this so far. Um, I really like the yellow. I love her lemon yellow, it's just so pretty. I'm not worried about it getting on the washi. I did wipe it off over here. It doesn't really matter. But let's get the yellow out. And here's some more of that cheddar. Hmm, interesting colors. What do you think? There's some more of that orange. Here's some more orange. Interesting. I guess for Halloween, you know, what's better than orange? Orange and black. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of this here. Now that's actually kind of cool, that blush color. That's different. I'm going to put a little bit here. All right, I've got to shut my dinger off on my phone. That's one thing I need to do. Interesting. Interesting colors. All right, so um, like I said, we're going to talk about moments. Let me dry this up really quick, and then we'll start getting this page together. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this <clears throat> pretty well dry. There's still some spots here and there. I grabbed some of this. It's actually a Scotch washi tape. Um, here is our calendar for the month of October. So I'm just going to put that right there. Um, actually, I am going to put some tape on it. And my phone is still pinging. i got to shut it off. There we go. Now we won't hear it pinging. Let's throw some of this double-sided tape. All right, so anyways, let's get back to moments. What are my favorite moments in my art room? Can anybody guess? If you've watched me long enough, you may know. Um, and I will show you really quick. This is going to be my first picture that I put down. And there we go. So yes, my favorite moments in my art studio are when myself and my granddaughter Haley are creating. 
we have a good time. Um, I love her just free nature spirit of, you know, um, just going for it. She doesn't stop and check herself. She doesn't, um, that, she doesn't have that inner critic yet. So I'm going to put October right here. All right, and this is going to go down here. Actually, I can cut some of this off. I don't need it so big. And I don't care if it's straight. That's not what it's about. It's not about perfection. It's about play. There we go. And she, that's going to go right there. So, um, like I said, that's that's one of my favorite moments in my art studio. I, I love, I just love how, what's the word I'm looking for? How free her her creativity is and how un um untethered she just it's all about just do it was so funny here a while back i said something about drawing a dinosaur she says grandma i can do that boom 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 she says there you go there's a dinosaur <laughs> she's just so um open and so free that's the only word i can think of the inner critic is not there now um i'm not a huge halloween person but I had this eyeball tape, so I figured, you know what, it is about, oops, let's do that again. Um, October is a lot about Halloween, so I figured this is a good time to use it because I just normally won't use this kind of stuff, so. And it's, it's nothing about, you know, it's not that I have an issue with Halloween, I don't have any issue at all with it. I'm just not into that holiday. It's no big deal to me, you know. Some people absolutely love it. That's awesome. I have nothing against that. It's just not one of my favorite holidays. Actually, I'm just going to put that right on down through there. One of my favorite holidays is Christmas. And um, it's getting more and more so I have a hard time with it. Because, you know, Christmas used to be about, um, you know being with family and dinners and gatherings and that kind of stuff and it's just we're not going to get into that but it's so socialized you know so commercialized now it just drives me crazy anyways we're not going to talk about that right <laughs> so <coughs> pardon me here is my favorite moments now i do have a bunch of other pictures um, that i'm going to cut out and these are pictures of my Haley, my munchie, as I call her, where um, we have spent time in the art studio. Okay, here's one. I'll show these to you and then I'll, I'll cut them out off camera. You don't need to watch me do that. Here's another one when she was really little. Another. This one was most recent. We were making monsters. And then this is actually a card that she made for me. Um, I wanted to put the card in here, but I think I actually put it into a different um, a different book. So here's the card. Um, let me go ahead and cut these out, and then we're going to work on putting them in our favorite moments. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got these cut out, but I'm looking at my page, and I really want to put some ink down, some stamps. So I have this set of stamps. To be honest with you, I don't remember where I got them. I'm not sure if I got them in a, um, a Happy Mail box or I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my block. There we go. I'm just going to take my acrylic block and I want to use some of this archival ink. And... It's just pictures of paint tubes and paint and I just want to put something down on this background a little bit. All right, so let's do that. Okay, let's take another one. Um, we'll take some of this writing. I'm not sure what it even says. Let's find out. Come on. Do, do. Some, 
something about a guy that was a painter. Jo Joseph Mallard William Turner. Something about he was one of the greatest masters of British watercolor landscape painting. He's commonly known as the painter of light. I thought that was the, um, oh, what was his name? I can't remember. Anyways, all right, so I've got some, I just wanted something on that background so it wasn't so um, blank. All right, so now let's just throw these to the side. Now I have um, the pictures and I cut them out. This is when um, somebody brought back Haley, a denim dress. I think it might have been my mother-in-law. And she's like, Grandma, I want to make it pretty. So she prettied it up, which I thought was really cool. She had fun with that. Like I said, this was us making monsters. This was more recent. This was when she was a young toddler. I gave her a magazine, Cosmopolitan magazine. She was cutting stuff out and having a great time. And then again, this is the card. So I'm actually going to put these here and these like this. What the heck? <clears throat> so like I said, these are some of my favorite moments um, in the art studio. And if you have any grandchildren, I really hope that you get to spend some time with them in your art because it's just, they're so fun. And they're so, um, you know, nothing bothers them. They just, they don't, they don't take it to heart the way we do as adults, you know, oh my gosh, it looks awful. That's just, that's not how they create. And it's so fun. Um, I was looking for, but I can't find the pictures I had of her and I both painting canvas. And she had her own canvas up on an easel and I have my canvas. And we just had so much fun just chatting and um, painting and you know, she got, so she was mixing colors, and it was just really, really fun. It was all completely abstract. It was nothing, um, there was no, you know, main thing to draw uh, to draw on the, on the canvas. There was no, you know, we were just playing, and we were just playing in paint. And I gave her a palette um, with all different colors, and she just had a blast uh, playing with it. So, like I said, I hope that um, you get into the art room with your grandchildren because they're just amazing. And, yes, um, I do let Haley know what supplies she can and cannot touch. I mean, she knows that, you know, some of these supplies are grandmas and grandmas only. I know some um, grandparents, oh, they, you know, have access to anything. I don't do that because I know my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end up with golden paint with four different colors in the bottle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's some things she knows she doesn't touch. And that's all good because she has her own set. Um, even when we went camping um, this summer, I had my art bag and she had her art bag. So, you know, we make sure that she has everything she needs. She helped me pack her art bag and... And we just had a really good time. As it was, she didn't do much art. She was more busy outside and, you know, playing in the river and that kind of stuff, which was a lot of fun for her, too. So, but, um, you know, if you can spend that time, like I said, in your studio with your grandchildren or even your younger children, if you have younger children. Um, I had boys, and both boys, of course, are grown and gone because now we're in the grandchild stage. But, um, you know, had I had boys and done this type of art when I was younger yes I would have brought them in the studio with me as well as it was um, I was so busy working I didn't have a lot of time for art but what I made was dolls and they just were not interested in doing that <laughs> so so all right let me grab um, I want to add something more to this I don't really want to add more of these eyeballs I might do a little strip maybe here or there let me figure out what I'm going to do with this next and I'll be right back Sorry about that, guys. I thought I had the camera on. Um, I just found this little skinny washi tape. And I'm just kind of putting it on the tops and the bottoms of these pictures just to give them some kind of a border. I don't know how well it's going to stick. I might have to eventually go back through with some glue. But that's okay. So, um, I found... i got to show you this. I found these little stamps... Ugh. I went to an antique place over the summer and they had a big barrel 
full of these stamps. Not this one. Um, like this, and they were all mounted. I actually stamped on a label and stuck the labels on the front just so I knew what the design was. Uh, but they had all of these stamps in a bucket. It says Redding Stamp Works. So I have no idea. But anyway, I like this one. I can use this one too. Um, I got out a couple of these stamps. And what I want to do... Okay, this one is just, I don't know, like a funky tree looking thing. So that looks Halloween-y, doesn't it? There it is. Halloween-y. And we're just going to stamp a couple here and there. There's three of them. That's all I want. Well, let's throw one up here. All right. Um, and then this one. This one is a little artist palette. Isn't that cool? So I figured I'd take this one and just kind of... Kind of bop it all over the place. Why not? And then I'm going to take some gel pens. And put in some colors. So let's grab some gel pens here. These I just happen to grab off my shelf. And I'm just going to put in some color. And that color is not going to work. So I need my glaze ones. Which would be... Okay. Uh, come on, gel pens, where are you? I seem to be picking all of those pens. Huh, that's weird. Um, no. Just get some pens here. Doesn't really matter what color. All right. So like I said, this is one of my favorite moments. Um, you know, I, I'd love to see you uh, do a page or an art journal page or a spread or whatever you want to do about some of your favorite art moments. Um, this is one of mine. Like I said, being with my granddaughter and just having fun and playing and, you know, the outcome really doesn't matter. We never did get to finish our monsters. But I have them all here in a drawer, so the next time she comes up, which I think is going to be this next weekend, maybe, um, you know, we can continue when we have some downtime. We can get back in Grandma's art studio and, and finish up our monsters. So, I can, that's funny. Finish up my monsters with my little monster. She is a little monster. She's my girl, though. Love her dearly. She's Grandma's girl. I'm just putting a little bit there, a little bit here. I'm just trying to add a little pop of color here and there. All right, now the last thing I'm going to do on this page is I'm going to take my white Stabilo. No, excuse me. My white um, Uniball Signo or my white gel pen. doesn't matter. I might use this white gel pen. Jelly Roll. And I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling in here. Um, as to what I do, you know, what these pictures are and, and what it represents to me. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so there you go. Um, I went ahead, I did a little bit of journaling, basically Haley arting with Grandma, making monsters, making it pretty, and two Grandma would love. And this is the beginning of this week for favorites. Um, I have a few more videos coming out through the, the rest of the week, so I hope you guys enjoy. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you'd like to. Have fun. That's what life's all about. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And happy creating. Have a great day. Bye.